Hello everyone, like Zero Phobos here. So today we're going to be reviewing Prime Pele. Okay, so Pele's card is not as 99, but then again, I, there's not going to be much difference because it's already pretty high rated. Um, so his card looks absolutely ridiculous. He looks quick, clinical, insane passing, insane dribbling, and good physical. Like his physical is 76, but um, when we look at his stats, there's going to be one thing that's going to let him down that aspect, but we'll get onto that in a second. Um, in terms of cheaper alternatives, there isn't. There's no cheaper alternative. The only cheaper alternative that you could possibly make is maybe getting his 95 or maybe even his 91. I haven't used those cards though, but there's very few players that have the stats of Pele. Okay, so as I said regarding his physical, like his strength is 76, but his aggression is 59. Now, like... <clears throat> it's not too bad, especially considering you know he's only five eight. It is quite good, but there's the strength aspect, and also he doesn't have a five star weak foot, which is kind of odd. Like he has five star skills, but doesn't have a five star weak foot. Um, so you have to bear that in mind. So what I done today is I put a hawk chemistry style on, just increase his strength and his aggression. The pace and his finishing don't really need to get boosted, but. They just got boosted anyway, and the rest of his stats look fucking insane, so I'm expecting a lot from this card. <clears throat> okay, so again, this is him that I use. So Pele played primarily at Cam. Um I think I did I don't think I played him out in the wing. I just primarily played him at Cam because I think that's where most people are gonna play him, but I doubt many people are gonna play this lot out in the wing. Um so we played at Cam in a 4-2-3. Okay, so I'll keep this nice and short. Uh, Pele is fucking amazing. <laughs> He's fucking class. The one negative is his strength, though. He is weak. Even with that increase, he's a little bit weak for my liking. Like, there was times he just got pushed off the ball way too easily. And that is more than likely down to his height more than anything. Um, but just too easily put off the ball. But he is fucking class. There's one guy you're going to see here. Just watch his movement for this goal coming up. It is fucking amazing. And the finish also. So, other than his strength, he's fucking amazing. And every aspect is amazing. He has, He's quick. He's, he's clinical. He can pass the ball absolutely insanely. Great at dribbling. The only thing that lets him down is his strength. Other than that, he's a fucking joy to use. Um, the only thing though is, would you pay three point? I think it's three point eight million for him. And in my opinion, at this stage of the game, yes, simply because you want to have fun in this game. And Pele is, is such a joy to use. Okay. Anyway, so he gets a nine point three in the weighted average. It's massively dragged down by his uh, uh, by his strength, as you can see. Um, we'll go through the stats anyway. Okay. So pace ten out of ten. Very quick stupidly quick once he gets going he's not gonna get caught shooting 10 out of 10 he's clinical even with that four star weak foot he is insanely clinical every single chance i gave him he finished dribbling 10 out of 10 you have to expect that his dribbling is just a fucking joke strength a 6.5 out of 10 he is weak it's down to just how small he is if he was about if he was like six four five eleven six four it'd be a lot better but He's just got pushed off the ball way too much for my liking, and then passing a 10 out of 10. His passing is just fucking amazing. Um, so, he's definitely worth it in my opinion at this stage of the year. If I used him earlier on, I would kind of question it, but at this stage of the year, yes, he is worth it. Simply because of just how fun he is to use. Um, now, if you can't afford Pele, I would perhaps maybe look at his 95 card. Um, no, I haven't used that, so I can't really give an opinion, but it has similar enough stats to this if you want the cheaper alternative. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this review. Um, so, that's most of the big boys done. I will try to get Eusebio and Ronaldo done, but you have, I think of Best, Henri, Marco Van Basten, Burkamp. I've another few to do this weekend as well. I have to get Cliver as well. Cliver, I'm really looking forward to. But if there's any others, just let me know and I'll do them. Anyway, cheers for watching.